Hello everyone. Cancer chemotherapy shows many adverse effects. What are those adverse effects sir? and why do people get these adverse effects? Let us understand in this video. Now cancer is due to uncontrolled cell division. This uncontrolled cell division forms a tumor which is specifically known as malignant tumor. When it reaches to an advanced stage known as metastasis, a part of this tumor breaks away, reaches to another organ and causes a different type of cancer. So it, it, it causes multiple organ cancer and that is a lethal stage. Now to treat cancer, two different types of classes are there. Specific anti-cancer drugs, non-specific cytotoxic drugs. Now these specific class specifically act on cancer cells and they kill the cancer cells. Like monoclonal antibodies, they end with MAB, trastuzumab kind of drugs. They are specific, hence they are specific, there are less adverse effects are there. The other class is known as non-specific cytotoxic drugs. These drugs are non-specific, they not only act on cancerous cells, they also act on healthy cells. They are cytotoxic in nature, cyta means cell, toxic means it causes toxicity. Now, why do these, these drugs cause cytotoxicity? The logic is they act on rapidly dividing cells. In human body, not only cancer cells, some other cells also rapidly divide, like hair follicles, oral mucosa, intestinal mucosa, bone marrow myeloid tissue, all of them are rapidly dividing cells and these drugs will act on the cells and cause adverse effects. We'll see one by one. First one, alopecia. Alopecia means baldness. Because hair follicles are rapidly dividing, when people take cancer chemotherapy, the cells will get affected, hair fall will be there. Second one, oral mucositis. Inflammation of oral mucosa and ulcer formation in the oral mucosa because these cells will be affected with anti-cancer chemotherapeutic drugs. Nausea and emesis. In the stomach, the mucosa will get affected by this drug and it results in severe nausea and emesis. The most important one, bone marrow suppression. Our bone marrow continues to multiply because it is what forms the blood cells. So it is continuously dividing and when people take anti-neoplastic chemotherapeutic drugs, they affect our bone marrow. Now, bone marrow when it is affected, it causes a particular problem called as bone marrow suppression, myelosuppression. That means blood cell formation will be reduced. Most important thing, when white blood cell number is reduced, it causes immunosuppression. Immunity will be less. Red blood cell formation will be less. This is a more dangerous adverse effect. Next one, there is a particular syndrome known as tumor lysis syndrome. Think about this. Someone has got cancer, tumor cells are there. And they are using anti-cancer drugs, anti-cancer chemotherapy drugs. The drugs will come and kill these cancerous cells. What happens when cells die? All the cell contents will be released into the blood. What do you have inside the cell? You have phosphate is there, you have potassium is there, you have calcium is there. All these internal contents will get released into the blood. In the blood, the levels of these components increases. It results a group of diseases known as tumor lysis syndrome. Understand the word tumor lysis. When tumor cells die, it causes a group of diseases known as tumor lysis syndrome. Hyperkalemia. Potassium levels will get increased. Hyperphosphatemia, phosphate levels increases. Hyperuricemia, uric acid levels increases. This is the important one. Cells has got DNA. When DNA has broken down or metabolized, it forms uric acid. When uric acid levels are increased in the blood, it causes gout, gouty syndrome. So this is also one of the cancer chemotherapy adverse effects. So people will get affected with all these adverse effects because the drugs will not only act on cancerous cells but also rapidly dividing healthy cells. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching this video.